Next question is from Claymation14. What are the benefits of doing front squats versus back squats? Yeah, it's a very different feel um, in the exercise. A, a back squat, you're going to get more forward lean. You're going to get more of the posterior chain, so more glutes, maybe more hamstring. You could probably squat more with a back squat. Most people can. A front squat is going to make you more upright. You're going to get more knee flexion and extension, more quads work. And you can feel it. You'll feel one more in the quads, one more in the glutes. Uh, they're both pretty quad intensive, but that's the bigger the bigger difference. And then core activation is very different in both mm. exercises. Mm. The core is very active in both movement. I feel more low back in the back squat and more core um, in the front squat. Um, and I think they're both exceptional exercises. I, I know a lot of people do back squats, don't do front squats. I think that's a big mistake. They're different exercises. Yeah. yeah totally. I mean, it's, it's that simple. It's like, it, they're not, um, it's not either or, right. or, you know, which one's better so much. To, it's like, and I know this is an extreme example, but it's like saying squats and bench press. Why squats? Why bench press? It's like, well, both. They, yeah, they, right. they both have tremendous value in your routine. Uh, you're also, front squats require more shoulder mobility just to be able to do them too. So, they're, they're different movements. They both uh, add tremendous value. Um, programming it, you can program front squats and back squats uh, in the same routine, in the yep. same in the same cycle. Um, I've done times where I'm really focused on the back squat and like my whole uh, cycle mm -hmm. you know, or phase is all back squat. And then the next cycle is all front squat. And I try to improve that. So there's not like a, you, you have to do it a certain way, but they're, they're both such valuable movements and exercises or programming. Like you have to have it, I think, in a routine. How you put it in there is up to you. Yeah, I think the back squat gets a lot more glory and mainly because the emphasis of trying to activate your posterior chain because we just don't um, naturally focus on the posterior chain throughout our daily movement and habits uh, throughout the day so it's very important to uh, you know strengthen your posterior chain however uh, you know the front squat is is very translatable to, to any kind of functional um, feet that you're going to face uh, throughout the day. Picking objects up in front of you and yep. having that load and being strong in that is very important. So it's a, it's a great exercise. I also found it as a, as a good tool to uh, teach proper squatting mechanics. I found that uh, getting a client to do a front squat or a goblet squat Easier. first. Especially with that forward lean. That's what I mean. Yeah. So because everybody- I would has, do it with a broomstick. I'd have them put that Right. So every, uh, most people have a tendency to, to fall forward when they do a back squat, and then you have it loaded on your back, so it promotes that even more. And if you don't have good mechanics, you don't understand the exercise very well, you, it's it can be a challenge for a trainer yeah. to get a client to mimic that. An easy kind of hack for a trainer to get a, a client into better squat form is to teach the front squat or a goblet squat first so they kind of get that chest high, upright, good posture and you know breaking at the knees and the hips at the same time. They'll learn that, I think, easier, most clients, easier on a front squat first mm -hmm. um, with lightweight and then progress them to a back squat. So that's a small little training trainer hack for the trainers that are listening. Um, I, a lot of times I will teach like how we talk about, uh, I teach now, or I, you know, later on in my career started to learn that teaching an incline bench press was actually easier to get clients in the better form because it promotes just better posture for benching, uh, and the incline than it does the flat bench. I feel the same way about a front, a front squat, a front squat, teaches better mechanics to a, a newbie to get them ready for a back I always squat. I would start clients with front squats before yep. we do back squats. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.